What up, it's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels here with David Klingsheim, the number three ranked bantamweight in camo, the West Coast fighting flyweight champion, Titans cage champion. How are you doing, David? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, man. I appreciate you spending your day with me. Yeah, no problem. Before we get started, I know you have quite a bit of a wrestling background. Can you walk me through that? Yeah, I've been uh, playing hybrid wrestling since I was seven. Yeah, seven, so almost 20 years now. And I wrestled uh, at Liberty High School in Brentwood, California. And yeah, I was a I wrestled freestyle Greco and folk style, so I'm pretty well rounded. I was a 20 plus time freestyle and Greco state champion. I was a Greco national champion at Fargo. Um, I was a 17th four time state medalist for California and a two time state champion. I uh, went to the University of Nebraska, the uh, Big 12 champion. So, yeah, I've been around, been doing it for a long time, and it's been a good run so far. During your time while you were wrestling, were you doing any other martial arts? No. Um, regrettably so. Looking back now, I wish I would have, so it wasn't such a struggle to catch up. But no, strictly wrestling, you're wrong. So you took your first amateur fight in uh, 2015. Is that when you started training mixed martial arts? Yeah. Yep. That was my, I just kind of gotten into it. I'd probably been training less than a year, I would say. I think there was probably like eight or ten months before I did my first fight. But it was all strictly wrestling up to that point, and I'd taken about two years off of any kind of training after college, and then decided to give it a run. So before you actually started training MMA, did you already know you wanted to fight? I had talked about it for years uh, to my parents and my family. It's something I always thought about, but I'd never really given it any real thought or entertainment. And then I was just getting the itch to compete again. Like I said, I've been, been wrestling for a while. I was getting that itch to compete. And, um, yes, yeah, I decided it was something I, that I might want to get into. And then I was talking to a former coach of mine, Bobby Gonzalez, and at a tournament, and he mentioned that he was friends with Faber and had put some guys out there. And sent some guys over there, so he was going to make a call. And so I guess he made the call to Uriah and Tommy. And then I got a call about a week later from Tommy, the, the manager, and asked me to come down and check it out if I wanted to fight. So I went down there, checked it out, and probably signed up a week later and started. That's awesome. That's uh, Team Alpha Male in Sacramento. Right. Yeah, it's a great place. A, a lot of great training partners. So you get to spar with a lot of people. Um, how far? You're currently five and zero amateur. How far do you think yeah. until you turn pro? I would like to. That's what we're working on right now. I think I'm gonna go pro. I'd like to get my first pro fight in maybe February or March. Hopefully February. I've been talking about it for a while, and the coaches wanted me to get another amateur fight, but that's just not working out. So my next fight should be pro here in a month or two. Okay, and then at what weight class? I know you're uh, number three band in weight, and then you had fights, you fly weight, and you said you meant uh, 130. Yeah, I'm going to be a 25-pounder for pro. I've been doing some, it's, it's a it's a good cut for me. I walk around like 145, so I've made a couple of title fight cuts to 25, but with the same day weigh-in, it's been a little bit tough, so I've been doing most of my fights. Uh, I've done two fights at 125, and then most of my fights have been 30-35, easier cut. So, But when I go pro, um, I imagine almost all of my fights would be at 25. If you could cut to 125 same day weigh-ins, if you do the day before, do you think you could go lower? No, I'm pretty lean. Um, the 25 is a pretty good cut. Um, 25 is what I wrestled at, so I'm kind of used to making that weight. I'm pretty lean at 45, honestly. Uh, it takes me about a month to five weeks to get down, so I'm pretty disciplined in my diet and my regiment when I do so when I get a fight at twenty five, so I haven't done too many at twenty five because it's about a that's just been the struggle is when guys pull out of the fight. Is one of my fights was scheduled at one twenty five and I got down and they pulled out so I decided I wasn't gonna do anymore at twenty five amateur. So but and twenty five is pretty I mean I might be able to get down to like twenty two or twenty three but there's nothing there so twenty five is pretty much my limit. Any sponsors you wanna go over? Yeah, uh True Wrestler is my main sponsor. Um True wrestler out of Southern California. He's one of the biggest wrestling brands in wrestling, actually, honestly. So he's been my sponsor for about, or well, since I started, really. He does all my shirts and all my designs. And 
He's my main sponsor that that deals right now. I haven't really tried to get any sponsors yet, just as far as amateur. I've just been focusing on getting better, training, and what have you. Um, That's pretty much. I have another one. It's performance cryotherapy. That they hooked me up with cryotherapy. They're they're out of Brentwood, California, and they're a great group that they recently sponsored me, probably about four or five months ago. So those are my two main sponsors right now. I'll just, I'd be looking to get some more sponsors here when I go pro. That just hasn't been a big focus of mine yet. Right on. And where can the fans follow you on social media? My Facebook is David Klingstein. at DK underscore underscore 125. What would your biggest goal be for 2018? Honestly, you know, I'm just, I'm itching the GoPro. I would love to, you know, get a couple big fights, start off slow, start off with, you know, one or two local fights. And honestly, I'd love to just get with a big promotion, uh, get picked up by a big promotion, and start getting some big fights. You know, I know I can, with the wrestling background, I know I can bang with some of the best guys. And and um, I, I, I'd like to get picked up by a big promotion, you know, get two, three, and oh, three, four, and oh, get, I'd like to get at least four fights this year, get one or two good big fights, and ideally get picked up by a good promotion and start actually moving forward with the career. I've been doing this for three years now. And I've had kind of a setback this year. So mostly just uh, move forward in the pro circuit and see what we can do. This is Nick from MMA Pixels with David Clean Time. Thank you, David. No problem, man. I appreciate it.